Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm going to be telling you all about the books that I read in the second half of April. So this is actually a very assorted um, half of the reading month. Like this is like the most random assorted wrap up that I've had in a while and it's really weird. But anyway, uh, most recently I read The Imposter Queen by Sarah Fine. So this is a book that I picked up because it had a female-female relationship in it and that ended up being such a small part even though I, I was really glad that that was in there. It ended up being such a small part of the story that I was kind of bummed about that aspect not being in it more because what was in there of it was like really amazing. But um, anyway, this book is about a girl who is supposed to be the next queen and inherit the magic from the queen when she dies. But when the queen dies, she actually doesn't get the magic and whoops. So basically, um, so this book was very unput downable. It is really, really good and really, like, I could barely put it down. Um, because it is so good at keeping secrets from the reader. But um, it did have some really weird parts where the the uh, main character totally could have been told about what was going on and there was no reason to keep it from her except shock value slash um, keeping secrets from the reader more so it didn't really fit with the plot for her to not know. Um, and then also there were some things that happened that I found extremely predictable and it was just there for shock value more than like actually adding anything so it was kind of weird. But I did like that this main character is bi and that um, she is like super in love with this girl to start with and it is pretty great. Um, so I do think that the guy that that she's into in this book though is like hella underdeveloped so I would have been a lot happier if she had gotten back together with the girl but oh well so I did really enjoy this book I actually like almost just didn't even end up reading it because it sounded kind of boring but um I'm really glad that I read it so right before that I read The Broken Kingdoms by N.K. Jemisin this is the second book in the uh, the Inheritance Trilogy, the first one being The Hundred Thousand Kingdoms, which I read like seven years ago, I swear. Like I, I read it a while ago and then just never picked up the rest of the series. But that one was my, my favorite N.K. Jemisin book. I actually liked it more than the Broken Earth Trilogy. So I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't like this one as much. It followed completely different main characters, so I wasn't really expecting that, but I did think that it was still really good. Diamonds Are Forever by Ian Fleming. One of the James Bond movies that I hadn't seen in a while and I so it was actually really interesting to me to see how much of the of what is in this book was still in the movie because there definitely are some like scenes and everything that are like exactly the same like the two vil the two main villainy types that are in here are um very much exactly like they are in the movies and they're like the most quirky James Bond villains there are really and so I was actually really surprised that they were so similar in this one but anyway um so I definitely do think Think this one's really good. I have read I think three James Bond books before and one of them is so focused on like what's going on with the villains and whatnot that James Bond doesn't even show up until halfway through the book. So this one was not like that. This one was really good the whole time and I definitely recommend it. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. This uh, was pleasantly surprising to me because I had heard kind of so-so things about it. I hadn't really heard anything about it being really good or anything like that. So I was very glad that this was really good. So I listened to three-fourths of this on audiobook and I could barely put it down so I got home and just read the last hundred pages um, of this book just in like one sitting practically and it was so good. So I do think it has its issues. I do think that the magic system is not very well developed and it almost doesn't really have a place for magic in it and it does it does seem really weird at times because there's no you know a lot of stuff came across as convenient plot devices but um, and I also do think that the main character is extremely bland like she's one of the blandest main characters I've encountered this year. Like it was actually frustrating how bland she was. Um, but I loved the world that this takes place in. It's so interesting and different and like everything that we're that we see in this is 
not expected at all and it's really interesting. So I definitely recommend this book. It's not as so-so as people have told me. So I'm definitely pleasantly surprised with this one. The Vikings Captive by Quinn Loftus. This was sent to me for review by Clean Teen Publishing. So thank you so much Clean Teen for sending me this my way. Um, I read, I reviewed the first one for them last year so I am so stoked to be able to read this one this year for them. So this follows the romantic relationship between a Viking and an English princess and the first book kind of just focused on one conflict and didn't really move into other things and so while that one conflict was really interesting and it was very like high stakes um it, it didn't really go into anything more uh, in the grand scheme of things, but this one really did. This one really um, was super action-packed. It threw thing after thing at us that happened, and it was really interesting, and I really, really loved it the whole way through. We do get a lot of, um, a lot of new characters in this, um, a lot of new, like, uh, somewhat main characters as well as like side characters and it is actually we see so much more of the world of the story. So I think I overall like this one better than the first one but there were still some things that came across as very over explainy and things where like two characters say something to each other where uh, they're really just setting up things because the reader doesn't know that and I don't think stuff like that was really needed. Um, so there was like stuff like that, like certain writing choices that were made, certain dialogue that didn't flow, things like that that kind of took me out of the story. But not very often in this book. It's pretty, um, pretty okay. Like it's not, I didn't really dock at any points for that. So overall, I really enjoyed this book and the series is great. So you should totally get on it. And Finally, I read Dear Evan Hansen by all these people. So this is a novelized version of a musical that I have not seen. So I've not seen the musical, so I had no connection to this story whatsoever going into it. So this is about a boy who is through some crazy circumstances thought to have been friends with a kid who committed suicide. So then he basically has to like play along with that and things just spiral out of control. So it is very interesting and certain parts of this book like where he thinks he's gonna get found out or where he originally finds out that people think that he, that he was friends with that kid all this other stuff like he it, it's written so like suspensefully in a way, like, it's so, like, those parts of it, you're like, oh, crap. Like, I was on the edge of my seat. It was so good. But then other things about it were very dry. And I kind of felt like there wasn't really a point to the story overall. I kind of felt like there weren't a whole lot of lessons learned in this. There was no real, like, point. And we never really find out that much about why the kid committed suicide, any of that stuff. And so it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I think that if I had seen the musical before I read this, I would have liked it a lot better. But uh, because I have not and I had no connection to the story going into it, I don't I just don't think it was really for me. So these are the books that I read in the second half of April. Let me know what your thoughts are on any of these if you've read them. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.